Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Mapple and today I'm doing a modular micro home speed build. So if you are interested in this build, you can download it off of the gallery. My origin ID is PineappleYT. Um, so this build costs about um, $30,000. So it's not like super expensive, but it's still not a starter home despite it being like pretty small. I mean, it's not the most like micro home that's ever been built but um the living space is mostly contained within a five by five i think square and so i don't know that's small for me i think this is the smallest home i've ever attempted um and it it only took me about an hour and a half which was nice um i like doing smaller builds sometimes just because it's a little bit easier um and that hour and a half included me um <laughs> testing everything to make sure it actually worked so everything in this home does work um, it's been tested and yeah, so it, it should work. It should work. Um, maybe some of it looks a little sketch, but it does. I think it works. Um, and so, yeah, so my kind of idea with this was in a way kind of like a shipping container. Um, but I didn't really want to call it a shipping container sort of micro home just because we don't really have corrugated metal yet in the Sims 4. And that's kind of what I picture as a shipping container having is that sort of wavy metal out uh, like exterior and so this doesn't have that I just put brick because I thought it looked good um but yeah and so I really I really love how this house turned out and I think the layout is actually pretty functional and I think it looks pretty cute um I definitely wanted to go with the sort of modern feel and at first I was thinking of calling this like a micro modern home or modern micro or something and then I was like I feel like you've heard that somewhere before. I feel like you've heard that somewhere before and then you're using it for yourself. And so I looked it up on YouTube to see if I had watched any speed builds. And lo and behold, I had actually watched a couple speed builds with that name. So I was like, mm, pick a different name. <laughs> um, and so that's where I got the name. I just figured it kind of looked modular. Like you could like buy the outlier bl blueprint from somewhere. You could even stack them if you wanted. So. That's kind of where that came from um, but yeah here I am figuring out the kitchen and before I really got into any of the like color scheme too in deep I was just kind of trying to figure out how to make everything work um, oh and this has a pool I thought that was really cool I just added a little pool well that rhymed that really did <laughs> unintentional um, but yeah, so because I was doing a lot of testing, I cut all of that out just because it was taking a while. So I hope that this build isn't too choppy. Um, but you know, that's kind of how it goes. Also, the lighting changed a lot in this because, you know, I would go to test it. Like here, I guess I didn't cut it all out. Um, and then I'd go back in to build mode and change the lighting because it's really intense. Because I used that dance floor. Because I wanted, that was part of the idea, to use the dance floor with the like sort of size of the home because I really wanted to add that light element in there. I thought that'd be a lot of fun. And so that made it so I didn't actually have to put that many windows on the outside, which is really, or like on the sides of the house, which I think is really cool. So here I am just doing the bedside sort of table things. Um, and it took a little finagling because the top shelf is really thin technically. Um, and so I wanted to make it look like it was actually like a top shelf. Um, and the reason it's that way is because you have that sort of lattice um, light up component and I put the bed further back in it to try and make the bed look more modern so to kind of hide those um, bed posts that's the word but <laughs> that ended up I ended up putting that candle on the bottom shelf uh, because it wouldn't fit on the top because it's too big and in reality that would be a terrible idea like what if the like the candle fire like lit the top shelf like it doesn't make any sense but I just left it because you know um, and so here I, oh, well, not there. I was <laughs> going to say I was working in the kitchen. Um, maybe I will be. I don't know. But I was also trying to kind of cover up the bed there because I thought it looked kind of weird from the window. So that's what I did there. And also it looked kind of cute from the inside. Um, but yeah. So I am about to get, yeah, I'm coloring that exterior now. And so my original idea, um, kind of in the sort of, um, shipping container idea was to have the interior space look like wood um, and then the exterior space be metal but we don't really have corrugated metal like I said I really want it I think that would open up a lot of building options um, and so I just use brick 
Um, so I'm here I'm trying to like find something that kind of looks like metal, but that just looked too, um, I don't know what the word is, like sectioned off with the, like, I just didn't like how it looked, didn't like how it looked. But yeah, I kind of just have like an idea for this house. Um, Maybe I was, I forget when I had an idea, but I just like sort of jotted it down on a sticky note before I went to bed. And I just imagined this sort of square tube with um, like a sort of cut out section. And I'm gonna be putting um, a dining table there. Um, not a huge one, just, you know, like a little patio table, but I kind of imagine that'd be nice to kind of help save some space. Um, and also make it like some fun space out there. Um, and so here I'm rearranging the build just a little bit because I wanted to add a fireplace, um, partially because I wanted to add a chimney, um, because I wanted to add in a more, like I wanted to add in some vertical, like height components into this build so it wasn't just so flat. Um, and so then here I'm back at it again with this color. I can't seem to contain myself. Um, I think that just means we need more colors. That's what I'm going with. It's not because I'm obsessed with that color. No, no, we're, we're good. We're good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, um, and I'm also was thinking of putting in some windows there. Um, but yeah, this build has very few windows in the end. Um, yeah, so now that I have like the exterior color, I just like started to get into the interior color and I ended up going with um, some sort of fancy concrete for the bedrooms, or the bedroom, for the bathroom. So I hope that that looks okay. Um, it's not the color of the like starting out concrete, so hopefully that's good. I'm gonna use that mirror. I love that mirror. It's kind of my favorite mirror. And I also thought I might add mirrors in the sort of kitchen area to add like the illusion of space, but then it just kind of looked weird. And also it's such a small build that I didn't want mirrors obscuring like a good fourth of it. Cause like, you know, they don't disappear when you put down the walls. Um, but I wish I had put something above the um, oven cause I think I could have used something like a little rack with some like utensils hanging off of it or like a cutting board or a spice thing. Um, just because it looks a little blank right now and it just kind of stays that way. Um, it was just something I kind of forgot, but I love these little shelves um, above the television that I put in. Um, the only thing with them is a couple of the paintings actually just barely stick up into the dance floor, which is a little bit annoying. I think you could change it if you wanted to, but I was just kind of like, eh, it's not like you're going to be playing um, with that up. So. I thought it was fine in the end and I'm, I've been trying not to be too much of a perfectionist in my builds just because I've been finding that it really slows me down um, like really slows me down like to a glacier pace um, but I really wanted to sort of um, make the space look lived in even though it's modern but I also didn't want to make it like um, a disaster zone of clutter um, and so I I think it looks good and I um, end up using those paintings from the movie hangout pack the really bohemian ones the painting sets I love those and I use um, both of the sets and I place it above and below the window um, on the front side of the house that really thin slit and I just thought that that looked really cool like maybe the person who lives here is an artist and they've been like you know making little art things while they're living a bit out in the wilderness um, and so yeah I thought this would be a house for somebody who really likes to live outdoors and maybe is um, eco-conscious a bit or you know just wants to live smaller um, you know, something cool like that and so that's one of the reasons why I really like the front sort of patio area is because I just imagine like that sim just like going outside in the morning drinking some coffee and watching the sunrise kind of like in the intro um which by the way I'm really excited about that song for the intro like I've been like jamming out to it like I've been re-watching the intro just so I can hear the song and I'm like yeah and I think it's the first song that I've used that actually has words in it um <laughs> so that was kind of exciting um but yeah, there was one other thing I was going to say, and I'm totally forgetting. Um, yep, totally spaced. Woo! Um, <laughs> um, oh, I know what I was going to say. So for the bathroom, there's like um, the toilet paper holder. It's kind of like looks like it's suction cupped to the window. And some of the 
um, hanging lights I put on the interior, I think that's what I'm going with. I'm just going to say, oh, suction cups. Yeah, that's how that's staying up there. Um, but yeah, here I really like this little back um, patio area, and I feel like I made that bench look almost like it was sort of built in, and I thought that was really cool. It looks similar to the wood that's around it, and so I just imagined um, it being like a built-in feature. Um, I don't think I tested that. So I don't know if Sims can sit on it, but I would guess that they can. I'm usually, I'm usually relatively good at gauging what they can and can't do, and so I think that one they could. Um, but yeah, I think that that pool and later on I add in some stepping stones, which are ridiculously expensive, but they look good. Um, and so I think this could easily be turned into a starter build. Um, if you wanted to like use testing cheats to like buy the build and then sort of take out the more expensive components and then take out the money so that you'd end up hitting like, you know, the correct starting level. Um, but yeah, I kind of started out with this being a starter home, but then I was also kind of just like, nah, we'll just go with it. Um, I should do a starter home soon. I've, I'm planning on doing a starter home that is also base game. So that should be really exciting. And so here, for some reason, the lantern was at two levels. And I don't know how or why that happened, but it looks good. Like, that's never really happened to me before. And it looks really good. And it's really weird because, like, I don't really know how that worked, but I just kind of went with it. And I thought that looked really cute. Um... <laughs> thought it looked really really cute um and so yeah so i am now just getting into the finishing touches um with the exterior and maybe a couple interior things um and i add in a little bit of landscaping not a whole bunch just because i wanted to keep the price down which is a little ironic because then i used those stepping stones which were like they're not even stepping stones. I don't know what they are, but they're ridiculously expensive and your sims don't even walk on them. <laughs> um, but they look so cute. So that, that here they are. They're so expensive. Um, but yeah, if you like this build, you can download off of the gallery. My origin idea is Panapo YT. Um, you could, if you also like this build, you could leave me a like, a comment, or subscribe, especially if you'd like to see more of my builds. Um, that'll update you as to when I um, upload them. And so yeah, the screenshots are coming up soon, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!